Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are on the Mac checking out my top 5 secret tricks that might change your entire experience in Mac OS. Let's check it out. So first thing is first, you can see up here in the top right hand corner, I have a lot of menu bar icons and I assure you that all of them are useful to me at least, but sometimes I would kind of want to rearrange them to how I like them. The way you can do this is actually by holding the command key and then dragging each icon exactly where you want it. So if I want to control my LG um, screen here, I can go ahead and easily access it there. So you can do that with any of these icons. Um, you can actually do it with the time and date. You can do it with anything. So you can go ahead and do that yourself, arrange it to how you like, but that's really cool that you can kind of rearrange these and get them exactly how you like. And you don't have to kind of like look at the same thing every day and it's not in the order that you want it. Next up is split screen and if you don't have an application like um, the magnet app here where it basically allows you to take your application and put it to the top left, top right, um, in the center, maximize everything like that. It's a really helpful application but if you don't have it um, I really recommend getting it. It's only 99 cents. This is not a sponsored ad. I seriously just use it all the time and I'd love for you guys to use it. But if you don't want to spend the 99 cents, um, let's go and show you a different method. So I'll open Safari here and then as well Finder and we'll go ahead and um, try and split screen this. So what we will do is go to the top left hand corner here and click and hold the green button here. So we'll do that. And then automatically it puts the Safari application to the left in a split view. And then we'll go and select the other application that we want to have on the right. So go, we'll go ahead and click the finder. And then there you can see that we're in split view and we have the two applications running side by side. So here we're in the notes app and we'll just type something, a dog ran across the road, and then we'll go ahead and insert an emoji. So the way you can do this in Mac OS, basically inserting an emoji, is by going ahead and pressing the control command, and then holding those two and pressing the space bar. And that will open this emoji window here where you can search for emojis or select from some of the ones that you've been using lately. We'll just go ahead and type um, dog and then we'll go ahead and get in a dog emoji and insert that there. So you can do this with any of the emojis that are available on iOS and this is a really useful feature if you are typing and you want to insert an emoji, um, maybe you're a blogger or anything like that. Um, it is really helpful. So that's how you get the emojis on Mac OS. Now number four here is really important. A lot of people go up here to the search menu and they kind of waste time going up and pressing on the spyglass here. Um, that is one way to get the spotlight search up, but another one is actually something that I use almost every day. So let's see um, let's open up Safari here and let's say I'm in Safari. I don't exactly have to go all the way up to the spyglass here. I can actually be doing something, you know, go ahead and scrolling in Safari. And actually to get that menu up quickly, I can go ahead and press command spacebar and it will pop up right there. A lot of people know about this feature, but a lot of people out there don't because I see a lot of people when using Macs just kind of go up to that spyglass and start their search. So this is a really handy option and I can go ahead and just um, look up an application and pull up QuickBooks and it will pop up right there. So it's really quick um, in getting your applications open. It's actually faster to open QuickBooks using that method than to go down here and click on it. So if I wanted to open iTunes, I can go ahead, type it in and then um, press enter and it will open iTunes. So that's another trick that you may not have known of. Um, it'll save you a lot of time when going throughout your processes in Mac OS. Last but not least, we have the dark or transparent option in Mac OS. A lot of people don't know how to get this menu bar dark or transparent um, as it looks on the dock here. So we'll go ahead and go to system preferences and then onto general. And in general at the top here, 
um, under appearance, you can see use dark menu bar and dock. And that is selected right now, so obviously it's dark. And then we can unselect it and you'll see that every turn, everything turns um, to light. So you can check mark this accordingly to how you like it. I personally like the dark menu. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below what you like, because that is a very hot topic to be able to change your themes within Mac OS or basically any um, Apple OS system. Anyways, guys, that's it for the five tricks for Mac OS. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, get subscribed, and also on your way out, maybe comment on some other tips or tricks for Mac OS. Thank you all for watching, stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.